This video is about uh, follow-on and reaction to the book Who Owns the Ice House by Clifton Tubbert. I'd like to shout out uh, Barbara Williams for uh, tweeting at me. My Twitter handle is, uh, who cares about my Twitter handle? Her Twitter handle, her Twitter handle is, easy for me to say right, is Barbara underscore WMS, short for Williams. So Barbara underscore WMS. Thank you. So I also watched the video for the, uh, that the Kaufman uh, Institute set up, which is all geared towards the foundation of the Ice House program. And I took a bunch of notes, and here are 11 bullet points that I would want to add and augment to the Ice House, uh, who is the Ice House, who is the owner of the Ice House. And basically what, what the, 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 reaction and the the takeaway is to infuse incorporate and uh, really hone in on some basic entrepreneurship skills and I know that entrepreneurship can be intimidating and I know that Stanford engineering uh, engineering 145 can be intimidating um, so I'm going to try to break down some basic steps and try to maybe incorporate a little little bit of humor into the entrepreneurship education sales process and that's to get away from the media darling entrepreneur to get away from the institutional funded money because the Kaufman video talked about how an Inc 500 company uh, only needs ten thousand dollars I argue a significantly amount less um, before I bullet point the 11 bullet points uh, I want to shout out my mentor, Mark McCormack, who wrote What They Don't Teach You at Harvard Business School. Groundbreaking, awesome book. Uh, and also Steve Blank, who wrote Four Steps to the Epiphany. Uh, Eric Rees, who wrote Lean, Lean Startup. Uh, they collaborated. Uh, Jeffrey Moore, who wrote the book Crossing the Chasm, Inside the Tornado, Escape Velocity. Uh, those are all Jeffrey Moore books. And the other book is Business Model Generation. Business Model Generation. Uh, as an aside, because I do love to study entrepreneurship, uh, all those five mentors dovetail into a, a blog post at Harvard that, I, disclosure, I wrote. It's called The Fifth Epiphany. And basically it talks about crossing the chasm from the right. Crossing the chasm from the right. Number 11. Selling ice to festivals. Ice is awesome. Ice has a heat transfer mechanism where heat, you know, transfers from, uh, heat transfers. So heat's going to go from hot to cold. So ice is going to melt. And I know that sounds uh, mundane, but this is great because you want to sell ice to festivals. Festivals sell a lot of drinks, and those drinks aren't cheap. They're very expensive. And they need ice delivered on the spot. So get out to festivals, get out to people that have a food cart or a food truck and sell them bags of ice that you deliver in a timely manner. That is because number, f well actually I'm not going to get to number four, but it's sim I'm, I'm going to jump up for number four. An ice box at the grocery store does not have uh, the ability to receive a text and then send out ice. That's not what the grocery store ice box does. So point number four is doing an external API, application protocol interface. And that's where the ice box does not have a mechanism to read tweets or read texts and then send out ice. You're gonna have to manually do it. So you're gonna have to, uh, in engineering parlance called hamster wheel the back end I meaning you're not going to have to learn to do computer code you're just going to have to be the hamster and you're literally going to be the hamster because some person who runs a food truck is going to text message uh this phone or your phone i'm not going to sell ice. well if you want we can sell ice together they're going to text message this phone and then you're going to go to the grocery store you're going to pick up 15 bags of ice okay in your bike or whatever or your car if it's 50 bags or rent a truck 
however you're going to do the logistics and you're the external API so you're the application you are the app so the protocol is people are going to text this phone and you're going to deliver ice that's to not have the phrase API intimidate you because in the future if you're delivering ice across the world then you're going to need to write some computer code but initially you don't have to you just hamster with the back end Paul the guy who invented to Gmail uh, mentored during a Tuesday night dinner said uh, sell it first and then build it Paul I think it's Bukite I know how it's spelled and it's easy to look up Paul YC sell it before you build it that's hamster wheel the back end external API number 10 what's great is that ice melts and you can't stockpile it number nine you want to sell ice who owns the ice house it doesn't matter because you want to sell ice that you yourself did not make totally possible what you also want to do is you want to sell the ice before you actually buy it now that is fundamental and that's very counterintuitive you want to go to places staying with the food truck example or the food truck at a festival example they know Friday Saturday Sunday there's something called the Naperville last fling okay it's gonna be 95 degrees and super humid and they're gonna need ice so you're gonna want to get them to pre-purchase that ice you want to get them to to give you a portion of that ice cost before you deliver it so it's half down half later or it's all paid up front whatever you negotiate that's why a lot of times when you're buying something they're like oh we need 50 percent down and then you pay the balance upon delivery what you're basically doing is you're paying the person's expenses and then when they end up buying it they're paying the profit does that make sense if any of this doesn't make sense you can reach out and email me larry at my company duck nine.com duck like the rubber duck nine the nine. larry at duck nine.com the ice house entrepreneur this is i'm reading directly off my twitter the ice house entrepreneur ice arbitrage is temporary summer 2015 sell high then buy low you know arbitrage there's an exercise that's if you want to grab a pen you should be taking notes on this stuff I'll wait for you to grab a pen this is critical this is worth the cost of the thirty nine dollar and ninety five cent video that you purchased which is it's all free I was joking about that um, by the way if I am joking I will tell you I'm joking sometimes I sound like I'm joking I'm just telling you something that's shockingly true I'm just trying to soften the blow bitly m cuban seven one o m cuban like short for mark cuban m cuban cuban like the country c u b a n so mark m bitly b i t dot l y m cuban seven one o talks about selling shoelaces in the wild and that's the whole concept of who owns the ice house is you want to be able to it doesn't matter who owns the ice house darn it I'm spoiling number one it doesn't matter who owns the ice house you own the ice house if you buy the ice and then you sell it does that make sense so if you buy the ice you own the ice house because the ice house in essence is working for you and later you sell the ice at a profit bitly m cuban 710 talks about buying and selling shoelaces bitly m cuban new link right below that link is you want to arbitrage i.e sell high comma then buy low okay you don't want to buy low and sell high that's risky first you sell it then you build it first you sell it then you buy it there's a movie entourage uh turtle okay he practiced doing a lot of these things before he be did the tequila company and what he first did was he sold the music rights remember to Vince's movie Queens Boulevard and then he bought it from this person he sold it first to the director and then he went and found who owned the rights to the music in this case it was Saigon so first you want to sell it 
then you want to buy it. So the way it applies to bit.ly mcuban, back to the link, bit.ly mcuban 710B as in boy, bit.ly mcuban 710B as in boy, no space, is you want to sell and buy power cords, brawn power cords. It outlines exactly how to do that. And the link, I'm not going to say it again. Okay, I'll say it one last time. Bitly M Cuban, Mark Cuban, M Cuban, M no space Cuban, 710B. The Ice House Entrepreneur, oh, I love this one, number 7 of 11. Sell $10 ice cream sandwiches at tech conferences to VCs. I've even got a date for you, July 31st. This is something that's incredibly counterintuitive, okay? It's incredibly counterintuitive. VCs, venture capitalists, they actually enjoy getting ripped off. They don't want to get ripped off for $2 million, okay? And they don't want you to just give you $500,000. But they love to be entertained, and they will pay $20 for that entertainment. These guys are rich, okay? Rich, super rich. What other job do you have to qualify you where you have to sell a $300 million company in order to go work at this job that pays you another 15 Amazing. So these guys are flush, and they're willing to spend money, and trust me, they want to buy a $10 ice cream sandwich just for the entertainment value of it. Plus, you've got to get comfortable with why you're selling it because they're going to be like, oh, why are you... You know, selling ice cream out of a, a Coolman cooler at this July 31st, August Capital TechCrunch party. And 10 bucks, that's pretty expensive. And then you say, oh, we're doing knowledge activation for the Ice House Entrepreneur Program that Kaufman is doing. Uh, we read this book that's got eight great ideas and tips on uh, who owns the Ice House uh, who owns the ice house? That's that's something that somebody's willing to pay ten bucks on, and you're definitely not going to lose money. If you want, we can go fifty-fifty on it. If you want, we can go a hundred percent on the expenses, and then you get the upside. Crazy, isn't it? You have my Twitter. You have my email. Next point, number six. Do an external API because the grocery store icebox doesn't accept text message delivery on demand covered that already. Number 5 of 11. Sell basic crap that exists. I gave away that tip already. Sell, don't sell, oh, this is critical. Don't sell ice and SF because SF in the summer is actually super cold. So if you do visit in the summer, okay, bring your parka. It's freezing. You won't believe that what dinosaurs have is problems. Yes. So in the Kaufman video, there is, there is mention of this thing called Business Model Canvas. Business Model Canvas. That's also the book that I mentioned in the five books that funnel into something called the fifth epiphany. In Business Model Canvas, you will actually not believe how technolo technologically backwards a dinosaur is. And I define a dinosaur as a seasoned executive, if I'm being more politically correct. But basically, it's anybody over 30 or 40, definitely anybody over 50. And these people are all in positions of power. The technology that has changed and been added is massively uh, brain-numbing to them. So, so engineer up a business model is the confirmation of a problem, step one, uh, recommending a solution that you hamster wheel up, which you might need to write down in Google, and then doing two things to extract money from that seasoned executive slash dinosaur that is very risk averse, because they're not going to trust a bunch of newbies who have never done what you've proposed to do before. In fact, I kind of don't trust that you'll even be able to follow up and text and email. My text is 650-283-8008. You're going to have to use the pause button a lot. So if you wanted my cell phone, that's where it was. 650-283-8008. So 
these two things are critical when you're extracting money from a seasoned executive. Internal escrow, which is a hashtag, all one word, internal as in inside, the opposite of external, escrow, traditional escrow, like you park your money in escrow for a mortgage, internal escrow. The thing that couples with that is one way letter of intent, one way letter of intent. And what that is, is it sidesteps the need for a contract. Seasoned executives, when to identify a problem, they're not going to want to enter into a contract with a person who doesn't even have business docs or hasn't even incorporated. I mean, you've got five people in your little consortium, you've got three people in your little project, okay? That's a three-way proprietorship with barely a me mechanism to set up to even accept money. So it's a three-way proprietorship. One-way letter of intent is 35 deliverables, 35 micro things, and one's half, let's say 17 or let's say 20 of the 35 things you deliver that you say you're going to deliver, then the dinosaur or the seasoned business executive or this chief technical officer releases half the money out of internal escrow. So I've walked you through exactly how to do internal escrow and one-way letters of intent. Number three, a lot of this is sales experience and this is something you can sell for zero risk. Uber might be new in your town, Uber, the, the car application company. Uber, promote it. Get your own referral code and there's even a hashtag. It's pop-up internship one, the number one, you. All one word. Pop-up internship one, you. And it's, it's super helpful in having you promote something that you don't own. So who owns the ice house? You do. Who owns Uber? Well, you don't own it, but if you're promoting it, you're getting paid uh, as if you were promoted, promoting it, which you are promoting it and getting paid. The Ice House Entrepreneur is like a honey badger. It's hilarious. The honey badger just plods ahead, gets stung by bees, eats the honey, uh, maniacally focuses, and marches towards their goal. So you want to plan a little bit, but not a business plan, as per the Kaufman video, as per uh, who owns the ice house. You want to be able to, uh, to plan and execute live on the fly. So you, yeah, plan and execute simultaneously. Uh, is that clear? So you want to, so, so the traditional old way was do a business plan. And the new way is to go out and explore what these seasoned executives have as problems. And the Ice House, who owns the Ice House, is, a, is an exercise where you're finding what problems Ice solves and getting paid a little bit of money to solve those problems. And then you're you're getting basic entrepreneurship skills, which is why this is a this is a class is a required reading, and this all dovetails into uh, a free online class. I sound like I'm selling. I don't make any money. A free online class, which is uh, hashtag engr one four five e like engineer and like Nancy, g like gorilla, r like Robert engr one four five. It's a hashtag, ENGR145. You want to write that down and you want to search that on Twitter. There's a ton of awesome nuggets. The Ice House Entrepreneur, number one of 11. If you resell, pre-sell ice and later go buy it, you're an Ice House Entrepreneur. It was great meeting you via YouTube.